who is is an, 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 an and who is how about sorority? Can we go sorority? Who has never dated outside of her race and comes from a really kind of who outside of her background ancestry and comes from a pretty white pretty standard. And wait, hang on. If you have a sorority sister in here, you're gonna have to like you're gonna have to point her out because. Just the standard, like, really, really, really white. Which is not a bad thing, y'all, right? I'm really white. I like white people. Preferably someone from the back. I need a volunteer. It's going to be fun. It's going to be really good. Dude, could it be you? Is it, is it her, really? No, I need to know. Is it her? Has she ever dated any? Are you straight, by the way? Are you straight? No, no, this could be good. Could it be her? Is she really? Wait, hang on. Hold on. Wait, are you straight? Yeah. Are, are you really, are you're white. You're clearly white. Yeah. What do you mean kind of? No. Dude, it, have you dated outside your race? I think it's her, actually. Wait, have you? No, come on down. Come on. No, down, let me do you. I need somebody. Come on, really fast. Dude, you're all sorority women right here. Dude, I could take any of you. Look, which one of you wants to go? Which one of the three of you? How many, who hasn't dated outside your race? Have you dated outside your race? Hang on, I'm going to go with you. Have you dated? Anybody who's not white? You're straight? Dude, okay, you will. Come on. No, this is a fun one, actually. No, her right there. No, you. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, do it. Come on. It's fun. You haven't dated outside your race, right? Okay, good. Oh, my God. Oh, this is going to be fun. What's your name? Did I have to, do I have to speak Spanish for this? Did no. Oh. Wait, do you speak Spanish? No. No, you don't have to speak Spanish. What's your name? Nicole. Nicole. Oh, my God. Okay, Nicole. Where are you from? Um, outside of Philly. Outside of Philly? What high school did you go to? I went to Marion Mercy. It's like an all-girls school. What is it? Marion Mercy. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Perfect, all girls school. All right, hang on. She's gonna go in the back. Hey Jeff, can you can you just go back there with her? Just oh wait, no, I, I need. Can you get me that? Just 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 hang on one second, all right? I'll be right with you. Stand against the back wall. Okay, I need my I need my three guys. Oh yeah, dude. Can you can you get him up here? The guys can get that camera. Can you get the camera up here? Okay, listen. So what's? Oh, dog. Listen now. Uh, what's your name? Yeah. What is it? Yeah. Hang on. Let me say that again. <laughs> yeah. 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 Not yeah. It's like nah, but like yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll get it. I'll get it. We'll come back to it. All right. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Vietnam. Okay. Do I say my Korean name? Yeah. Go ahead. Korean name. Um, my name is Sang Woo Sok, and I'm from South Korea. You're and you're actually from South Korea. Yeah. All right, Dave. Uh, my name is Chen Haozhen, and I'm from China. Okay. All right, cool. You ready? And then, thanks, bro. You the man. All right, you ready? Oh, Nicole. You're nervous? You ought to be nervous. I was lying to you, actually. This is the most nervous. Actually, this is fun. We're going to have fun. Nicole, come stand right here. Um, is it going to work? Damn, dog of all the days. Nicole, I want you to pick out of these three guys which one is the most handsome. <laughs> okay? Now, here's the deal. So, here's the deal. You got to, like, now you're going to have to keep your, your 
glasses are cool, but you're going to want to go with glasses on and glasses off. And you guys, what you want to do is, you, you got to, come on, man, you, this is, I'm trying to get you a date, you know what I mean? Do you have a boyfriend, by the way? You don't? Dude, all right, this is it. So, do you have a girlfriend, bro? Boyfriend? Wait, are you guys straight? Are you straight? All right. Do any of you have a girlfriend? So the stakes just got raised a lot higher. Okay, so here. Uh, look, at, you, you look at him really closely. Okay. I mean, look at him. So turn on the side. Gentlemen, come on, man. I'm trying to hook you up here, right? <laughs> not, no, not, hang on. No, not in that way. All right. Sorry. That's old school. So, bro, take your glasses off real fast. Okay, look, cool. be cool. Dude, you don't want to stand like that. That's not cool. Just be like, you can do it, bro. No, I'm, I'm going to help mom. You got to look at him closely. Go, just, it's okay. You're, you're like, dude, it's like you're at a, a you're, are you, you're in a sorority, right? Which sorority? Alpha Gamma. I can't say right in here. Yeah. Yeah, Alpha, what is it? AKO. AKO. So imagine you're at your sorority. There's a mixer going on, and these three chaps show up. And, you got, and you're going to go out on a date with one of them. So you've got to pick out which one's the most handsome. Are you guys comfortable with this? Are we good? You all right? Okay. All right. So look at them carefully. No, you're going to pick out. First off, what are you looking for? I don't know. Like, Hang on. Go ahead. Talk right in the mic. Well, they're all like the same height. So that's like, that's one thing that's you just, they're all the same. So. They're all the same. <laughs> all right. I meant by the height. <laughs> Oh, wait, hang on. I meant okay, like the height, on. that they're all the same height. So okay, go ahead. Like How else? What else? What else are you looking for? I don't, I don't know. Talk right in the mic. I don't know. Hey, I'm wait, by like the way, it's okay. You're not, like, no, we're not, we're not, I'm not setting you up to be racist or something like that. That's not what this is. This is actually a really, really cool exercise. So what I really want you to do is look at them and tell me, what you what is appealing and is most appealing and least appealing about them are we cool with that no no no, it's okay that's what you guys are cool right dude you're all right i got your back on this because you have clearly when the hair you're going to win the hair one all right so go ahead what do you think um, you've never dated asian guys right no (laughs) have you ever okay so here we go talk right in the mic you can't say anything racist. You're, you're saying, like, what do you like about different ones? Like, what do you, look at their eyes, right? Like, their noses, the hair, the whole thing. The way they're dressed. Come on, man. They're like, they got some style going on here, dog. Um, well, I like his shoes in the middle. They're, um. Keep going, keep going. No, 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 keep going. I got you. What else? What else? Look at their hair. Um, I don't like your hair is like two different colors. Like oh. I like just one color. Dude, sorry, man. <laughs> I thought you had I thought you won that one. All right, what do you like? Who has the nicest hair then of these two guys? What do you like about their hair? Um, I just like the middle, like dark hair. Also, dude, you got two votes right there. <laughs> All right. How what else? What else? Just like drain, like dressing like plain and like simple is like fine. So the guy, dude on the left? Like either the middle or the left. Wait, say your names again because this might take her over the top. <laughs> Bro, so tell her, see, and you're, you're, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> dude, how fucking awesome would that be <laughs> to, to be date a guy whose name is Yeah? Hey, <laughs> Yeah. Okay, you could just, like, imagine you could just, <laughs> imagine the fun you could have with your parents. Take them home and just be like, Hey, Mom. Yeah? <laughs> and he'd go, yeah? <laughs> yeah? Yeah? It'd be like echoes, right? Okay. Anyway, go ahead. That's yeah. All right. That was my first F-bomb of the day. My only one. All right. Okay, go ahead. sang Say it again. sang It's a little more challenging, but you could get there. <laughs> Bro. hao zheng. Dude, say that like you mean it, man. hao zheng. How, how awesome is that? How chung, how chung. Okay, go else. What, what else are you looking at? Let's just look at their faces. Come here, come here, come here. Seriously, t- t- turn this way. Just look at their faces. Who's cute? Who's the cutest? Come on, dog. You know. I know. You gotta know who's cutest. 
I'm the one in the middle. Yeah? What is it? What is it about him? Dude. What, what makes him cute? Just go ahead. Go ahead. He looks like approachable. Like, like he, could, he would talk to me. Like, like he looks approachable? Yeah. Dude, he would talk to you. How Chu would talk to you? <laughs> yeah, would, yeah, come on. Yeah, would talk to you. <laughs> if you said, could, would you talk to me? He'd go, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Yeah. You got like, dude, do you know any other Nate words besides yeah? All right. Okay, but the middle guy. Yeah, I think he's, he's like just the most like American looking to me. Ah, uh, okay, the most American yeah. looking. So it's like you if you take the the lenses because here, check this out, right? We grew up learning and you you all do it. By the way, is there I need someone who I need an, as a woman who's Asian, ideally Chinese Korean would be really awesome, but who's not ABC, like who was not born here. Dude, yeah, but you know that guy, right? Yeah, you know, okay. I need, is there somebody else? Is there anybody? I need an Asian female who's from like China or Korea. Who's from? <laughs> Dude, real fast. Hang on one second. Hang on. You're, you're killed. Dude, you killed it, by the way. All right. Wait, what's your name again? Uh, my name's Lisa. Lisa. That's your, wait, you're Korean? No, I'm Chinese. Chinese? What's you, your Chinese this name? This is the third time that we have yeah, this Yeah, I know, God. All right. <laughs> Give me your Korean, your Chinese name. Jingxin. Jingxin? Yeah. Okay. Who's, who, who, well, who, what do you, who do you think's most handsome? Don't say the <laughs> Chinese guy just because you're trying to, like, um, keep it in the family, so to speak. Do I have so to, to pick? Like, okay. No, just what are you looking <laughs> for? How about this? Tell Nicole, as an Asian woman... So you got a Vietnamese guy, a Korean guy, a Chinese guy. Tell Nicole what you would be looking for and identifying who's the most handsome. Um, for me, like, because I'm pretty tall, so, like, height. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, like, actually taller than, like, a lot of my, like, Asian peers. Talk right peers. into the mic. Yeah. I'm, like, taller than a lot of my, like, Asian peers who are, like, male. And, um, <laughs> sorry. And, okay, go ahead. What else? And dress. In general. Okay, look at their faces, though, dog. What are you looking at in their faces? I guess eyes and, like, nose. Yeah, what are you looking for in their eyes? Nicole, listen up. What are you looking for in their eyes? Um, like, have you guys heard about, like, the double eyelid? And, like, yeah, the we talked about that a yeah. few weeks back. So, yeah, so, like, I guess I'll be looking for someone who has, like, double eyelid because that will make their eyes, like, bigger. No offense to like. He's got nice. He's got really cool eyes. I think. I think. Right? Do you agree? I think he has really cool <laughs> eyes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do you? So, what about li lips, smiles, anything in there, <laughs> Nicole? Are you noticing? Look at look. Now you, you don't have a mic. So now really look. You didn't think about that before. Wait. Yeah, I didn't really think about that either. Okay. All right, so listen, here's the deal, right? Let me just say why you're up here getting really nervous. You did great, by the way, but here's the deal. We grow up from day one, we start learning what is and is not attractive, okay? And so we're picking that out. We're getting the images. You're getting images. I'm get here, can you go to the next slide, bro, real fast? Like, look at this, right? Do you know who those guys, any of those guys are? Are they the same guy, by the way? <laughs> is that the same person? American you know, like how guy? people say all Asians look alike? I'm like, all white people look alike. Wait, is that, seriously, is that the same guy? Do you know who that is? Any of those guys? American Horror Story. Wait, are they seriously five different people or are they the same person? They're five different people? Do you know who any of them are? That's like the American Horror Story season five cast. Oh, yeah? yeah. There it is, okay. There, okay, so listen, what happens is we start very, from a very early age, the, the, here you can hold that, the messages come through to us from our culture. We don't even, we don't ask for them, we don't necessarily want them, they just come at us. And we start, even in subconscious ways, picking out what is and is not handsome. And we didn't, can't, like, but now what I did was I put you in a different culture. So now, here, stand out here, and, I, and I'm saying, Take these three guys, you've never really looked, 
I'm assuming you've never really looked at Asian men as a straight woman, Asian men as sex, like sex symbols in that kind of way, right? I don't, I don't mean sex, but it, in, in terms of attractive, like what do I not, which is normal, right? Because you're this white American woman, and it's like, why you don't do that, right? If you grew up around a lot of Asian men, you'd have friends like these. You'd know, man, you know exactly what you're looking for, but you didn't, and so you don't. But now you will, because now in front of all these people, you're going to start to do that. You're going to start looking at Asian men, and you're going to see them differently. But there's something about, like, this dude. It's like, yeah, he looks totally different from this guy. I think both of you are, and, dude, you, you're just, you're in a different league of coolness, right? Of hipsterness. But all three of these guys just have their own thing going on. And... So, like, you know, the only thing, if you, go to, if you go to Asia, maybe, like, these, if these five guys walk down the street, maybe more people have been inundated with images of white males. But there are plenty of inundation with these guys. Here, go to, can you go to the next slide real fast, bro? $247. So these guys, this Freakonomics thing, did this thing that if you, if Asian men in the United States, if Asian men visit dating sites, okay, and you take a comparable Asian men, you take... Yeah, yeah, right. Wait, what was it? Yeah. Yeah. You take, yeah, and you take Sam, if I was, you know, 30 years younger, 35 years younger, and we were comparable on an, on an Asian site, and comparable in terms of features and so on. He, in order to get the same number of responses that I, a white guy, would get on the typical average Asian site in, or dating site in the United States, for him to get the same number of responses that I would get, he would have to earn that much more than me. And that says something about Asian men in particular not being sexualized in any way, just not seen. See, you guys are, what do you do? You do math and you do computers and that's it. There's nothing else. You're not, you're just not part of the marketplace because that's the vision of you. I mean, it's not true, of course, right? You, you get, you see what it is, right? So now what happens is I say, okay, hey, let's bring some American women or different people up and look at it. We don't even, you don't even necessarily know what to look like, look for, because like, how would you? But Lisa does more so because obviously you're looking at certain things. So you see these guys all the time or some variation of it. Is that cool? Just like you would if you, can you go back a slide, bro? If you go back... If you never met, really spent any time around white people, and you saw these white guys, you, you'd have no idea. You wouldn't think that they were handsome or not handsome. You would have no idea. You'd be like, whatever, I don't know. Like, fuck, they're just like five white knuckleheads. Is that cool? It's pretty, it's rocking. Dude, how you doing, by the way? Are you, you feel all right? Do you feel like, do you feel uplifted? No, talking to the mic. Just a really big crowd right now. Yeah. <laughs> and also on the live stream. Yeah. Your parents are watching probably. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's cool. It's cool, right? So now as you walk through the world, you can look at Asian men. Just have, you'll have a different vision. Everybody will, right? Dude, thanks, man. You rocked it. <laughs> Seriously. Dude, thanks, dog. Seriously. Dude. Thanks, man. Bro, do you have a girlfriend? I'm just saying, dog, you know what I mean? All right, you guys can have a, have a seat. Yeah, thanks. You know, in the, in the U.S., in, the, in Social 119, by the way, if uh, probably in this class, if we could probably advance race relations more, but, like, furthest in this class in the throughout a semester if we just if I just set up a whole dating website and y'all just went out on dates with each other and crossed different boundaries and you know and sexuality and go on dates with people who are bi and like the whole nine yards right and because really you just break down the walls it's what it is you just break down the walls and it's like it's cool All right, man. Um, unfortunately, the the camera up here is we burned out a, a switcher box, so it's not going to work till next class, which sucks because. Uh, all right, man. Can I get um, 
I need another. Can you, wait, can you put the next slide up? Are these, are these people, wait, are these people in the room? Are, dude, one, who, two, who else? Three? Yo, if your name's up there, can you come down? Oh, dude. It's a, oh, I know which one you are. Oh, yeah. And now I need, I need a, yo, I need a couple of volunteers. Dude, you can hook them up with, give them the, the, the yo, I, and now I need a couple of volunteers real fast. Could be anybody. Doesn't matter. Who? No, but you can't be. Dude, you're on. I, wait, hang on. I need a female. Are you on? Do wait, have you volunteered yet? No. Oh yeah, come on, dog. Come on. Yeah, come on. Oh yeah, all right, you come. No, I want you. Come on. All right, hang on, bro. Give give the the flyers guy. So listen, no, stand next to this guy. You guys get a mic, and you, you all get a mic, right? So here's what's going to happen. Oh, wait, hang on. So step out here. Look, just hold tight. I'm going to say what's going to happen here. Here's what's up. You can't, we, people use this word offend a lot. Like, this is, that's offensive to me, or this, or something's offensive, or something, whatever, right? People talk about being offended. And mostly, we are, most of the time, I find, personally, in my humble opinion, in my experience, is when people use the word offends, or offended, or whatever, it's because they don't have any other way to understand something that just happened with them. So it's just, I'm offended, okay? I live in the world that says, look, the only way we're going to break past different cultural ways of understanding one another is to make mistakes. So, for example, when I go into a restaurant that's like a, a Spanish-speaking restaurant like here in the United States, and I start speaking Spanish, and I know damn well the waiter or the waitress speaks Spanish because I hear them speaking Spanish and so I speak Spanish and then they say, I speak English. I'm like, okay, cool. But I'm going to speak in Spanish. <laughs> and then like, I've had wait waiters or waitresses say, but I'm, I speak English, I'm offended. And I'm like, why are you offended? I'm just speaking a language. I know you speak English. I'm speaking Spanish. And you understand Spanish, so we're going to communicate in English, and then we're going to communicate in Spanish. So in my world, there's nothing about this offense bullshit that people throw around all the time. And what I find is that the best way to break through being offended and is to have experiences whereby we step on people's toes, we're in awkward kind of situations, and so we're going to get really awkward right now with the two of you. Okay? And with some of you, maybe, I don't have any idea. But here's what I want you to do. Ready? Each one of them, you don't know whose names. Wait, is there one person who's up there who's not? Who's not here? Wait, wait, is there another person here? Your, name, your names are all up there, right? There's six people. Who's the seventh? Who's the sixth person? Are you not in class today? Is that person not in class today? Does anyone know? Dog. Wait, hang on. Hold on. The dude with the really, really, the person with the really, really long name, are you not here? Seriously? Oh, that sucks. All right, dude, can you just, can you just, okay, hang on, hang on. No, leave it up there. The really long name, yeah, you can delete it. Delete it really fast. Okay, I need you to guess who goes with what name. First off, here, let me have it. And we're not, they're not going to say anything. Who goes with what name? 
Go ahead, look at him. You got to stand out here so you can really look at him. And say the name as you're pointing it out. So you. The second one, do you think that's Chinese? Go ahead. I think that the. I'm not gonna, Go I ahead, say the pronounce name? it, dog. Che Yu Ye. Is that you? Che Yu Ye. No, hang on, don't say. Don't say. You think oh. Che Yu Ye? That's yeah. how you pronounce it? How would you pronounce that name? Che Yu Ye. <laughs> Go ahead. Che Yu Ye. All right. Who's Che Yu Ye? Who do you think? You thought it was her? Nah, wrong. Um, I'm going to go with one of the guys. Uh, one of the guys? The guy in the Penn State sweatshirt in the middle. All right, don't say anything. All right. He thinks it's him. All right, who else? Um, first name, dude. Mike? The first one up there. Oh, uh, uh, oh yeah, what's your name, Mike? Yeah, what's sorry. your name? Maya. What is it? Maya. Maya? Okay, Mike. How do you say the first name? Uh, Zanny Lee. Zanny Lee. All right. <laughs> Dude, I, I have no idea how, but I can guarantee you are close. You are really close. How do you pronounce the first name? Zayan I Lai. What is it? Zayan I Lai. Zayan I Lai. Zayan I Lai. Or Lee. Zayan I Lee. Zayan I Lee. Dude, same thing. You are really close. All right, who's Zayan I Lai? Or Zanny Lee is would be for sure. Her. You think it's her? Yeah. All right. Go to ahead. Last the third name. Oh. I'm gonna go with the guy at the end. Okay. What's right. what? Do you, how do you pronounce right. it? Uragam Richard Swar Zay Reddy. <laughs> go ahead, bro. I mean. Uragam Rishi Keswar Zay Reddy. Zay Reddy. Yeah. Say you think? Zay. I don't Go ahead. What do you think it is? Say, say. You're going to insult whoever it is. You're going to insult them. That's Get their name right, dog. I think it's him, too. All right. Go ahead. How about the, the last one? Who, how do you pronounce that? Jingzia. What is it? <laughs> Jingzia. So wait. Say that really loud because we all want to laugh really J loud. Jingzia. Jingzia. Yeah. Dude, you might be close. Thank you. Not. All right. Is that the last one? Yeah. Jinghia. Hia. Hia. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, who's Jing Hia? I think that's him. It's you place. think it's who? Him right here. Uh, that's what I'm thinking too, definitely. All right, and Ted. Who's Ted? Uh, how, do you, how do you say the name? Theodore Tunaga Nugent. <laughs> I actually know someone with that last name. Isn't that how you say it? Nugent. Right. Nugent. I right, think it no? is Nugent. Nugent. What do you think? Theodore Tu. Nihia Nugent. All right, man. Here, you, actually, you hang on to that. All right, let's just start right here. Speak right into the... That was pretty good. Check. Speak right into the mic really loudly. Say your full name. No, right. hang on. And say it with full accent and quickly. Say I mean, full... You know, say it with your... <laughs> and don't say it like Americanize it. Say it like your grandmother would say it really loud. Say it again. Dude, I don't even know which name that is. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm like, did you say Theodore Tung? Okay. Say it again. Okay, which one is it? The last one. Jing Hia. Okay. And where are you from? China. From China. What part of China? Beijing. Beijing. Okay. So Chinese put last name at first. So it's Li Xian Yi. It's the first one. Say it again. Li Xian Yi. Got it. So in Chinese, so put the last uh, name first, no. right? So it's Xian Yi Li. Xian Yi. <laughs> but but hang on, but li, the li, but the last name is Li, right? Yeah. So you say Li Jian Yi. Li Jian Yi. Wait, is that what you said? No, really. no. Okay, say it. Say it that way. Say it the way you would say it in China. Li Xian Yi. Again? Oh, that's cool. Hang on a second. That's almost like, yeah. Seriously? No, 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 no. No, no, no. I don't mean like that. It's just that you had that inflection. Say it again. Li Xian Yi. Xian. Li Xian Yi. Right. Oh, cool. Did you get that? You were really close with her. No, you weren't, actually. Okay, man. Here we go. 
Theodore to win. Theodore to win win. To win win. Or to win. Say say the last say the, your last name again. Win. Win. No, it's not Nugent, bro. It's pretty close. A lot of people get it wrong. And do you speak, and where's your family from? Where are you from? Um, oh, I live in Montgomery County, yep. uh, but my parents are from Vietnam. You're from Vietnam, and do you speak Vietnamese? Uh, not at all. Not at all? But you know how to pronounce your name? Uh, yeah, pretty much. All right, that's cool. And Theodore, you got down. All right. He got Theodore down. All right, when? But wait, hang on, though, bro. But your parents would pronounce your last name when? When? Yeah. Wait, is there a little bit before There's when? There's like a little new in. Are there any other Vietnamese people here? Dude, how? hang on, hang on a second. Hold on. Bro, I'm going to teach you how to pronounce your name. In, so it's 119. All right, so you're... Okay, so my last... Wait, hang on, can you stand up real fast? Why? Oh, because. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Hang on, hang on. How do you say, bro... You got to know how to say, oh, shit, in Vietnamese, right? Do you know how to say that? Teach him how to say, oh, shit, in Vietnamese. I don't know how to say, oh, shit. <laughs> you just said it in English. You got to know how to say um, Okay, I'll just say the last thing. So, wing is how you say it. How do you say it? Say it again. Wait, speak around the mic. Wing. Wing. Yeah. Wing. Wing. Like so, dude, off. you have it. You got it. Yeah, you got it, dude. Dude. <laughs> Okay, what's your, well, how do you, what's your name? Um, Kathleen Kim Wing. Kathleen? Yeah. What's your, how do you, what do, what do your grandparents call you? Nhi. What is it? Nhi. Nhi? Nhi. Nhi? Speak Nhi. Wait, say, say it really loud on the mic. Nhi. Nhi. Oh, my God. Wait, am I close? <laughs> Nhi. No, can you say it again? Say, say it again. No, Nhi. 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 Dude, it's, seriously. It's like that Y that you couldn't say Nye. with the other guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nye. Dude, yeah. You see how that is, right? Like, how would I, if I didn't, bro, you could get that. You have that. Your parents speak Vietnamese, right? So you hear that. So you can say her name. You know how to say her name, right? Like, I can't get that. I can't hear it in my mind, but you can say her name. Say Wait, it. How do you spell it? How do you spell your name or whatever? Yeah. Oh. Wait, you I'm, I'm just so said, Ni, no, your first name. N H I. Oh, it would be like Ni. 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 Yeah. How do you do? Oh, it's close. <laughs> oh, dude. I'm kind of uh, whitewashed. Uh, dude, you got to <laughs> brush up on your Vietnamese, dog. All right, here we go. Um, my name is Ye Tzu Yu. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, dog. Hang on. Hang on. They want to get this one down. Say it, say it really loud in the mic. With accent? Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, so you. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so yeah is the last name, right? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. so you. So you. Say it again. Try it. Go ahead. Hang on. Go right next. Stand right next to him, bro. Teach them how to say your name. Go ahead. Say it really loud. Go ahead. Yeah, say it really loud. Yeah, so you. Yeah, do you? Dude, you nailed it, dog. All right, go ahead. One more time? Say it really loud. Hang on, be quiet. Here you go. Ye zhe yu. Ye zhe yu. Dude, God, this is amazing. Wait, and where, and where are you from? Um, I'm from Taiwan. From Taiwan. But that name is a Cantonese name? or It's a Chinese name. Chinese name? Yeah. Like Mandarin or... I think it's Mandarin. Yeah? Yeah. Dude. Is it? Yeah. It's, yeah, it is. All right, bro. Here we go. You ready? Uh, okay. It, it goes like this. Uh, Aragam Reddy Sai Rishi Keshwar Reddy. Oh, dude. Hold the mic closer. Aragam Reddy Sai Rishi Keshwar Reddy. Okay. <laughs> I go with Rishi, though, so... Hang on, say, say it one more time. Ready? You guys are going to repeat this. Okay. I'll just repeat whatever there is there on top. So, Aragam Rishikeshwar Sai Reddy. Rishikeshwar Sai, Sai Reddy. Reddy. Yeah. See, here's the thing. 
He can't, you can't pronounce that, can Go ahead, try to pronounce his name, bro. <laughs> Aragam Rikishawar Sireti. Dude, the Americans got you beat, you know what I mean? Wow. He's one of your continental peeps. Okay, try to say his name. <laughs> say, say his second name. His second one? Rikishawar. R- uh, say it again. R- Go ahead, just say that. Uh, Rishikeshwar. Rishikeshwar. Yeah, you have to shwar, you have to sort of swallow that. It's like a sing song thing. It's like Try it, bro. K-E-S-H-W-A-R. It's just like my passport name is K-E-S-W-A-R. Yeah. Keshwar. So, Keshwar. Bro, you got it? Uh, it's Rishikeshwar. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Rikish. You, you did, no, it's it's like it's amazing. Rishi Keshwar. Rishi Keshwar. Yeah. yeah. Rishi Keshwar. Yeah. All right, you ready? I just want one. Just, oh, dude. So, what other languages do you speak? I speak uh, Telugu, Hindi, uh, English, and that's it. Yeah. In Hindi. Yeah. How do you say "oh shit" in Hindi? I actually don't know. Let me think. I actually don't know. I don't yeah? remember it. Yeah. Dude, I was going to hook you up, dog. All right. Listen. Thanks, man. Thanks. Nice job. Dude, thank you. Dude, you did very well. I'm impressed. Yeah, I'm quite impressed. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, look, here's the deal. Why are we doing this, right? Why, do we like, why am I taking so much time to do this? Because it's not just to have fun, right? On one hand, it's fun. On the other hand, it's awesome. Right? You just, you, I'm just breaking the walls down, y'all, right? You just break the walls down. And when I'm meeting people, man, when I, when I am places, when I'm traveling, wherever I am, it doesn't really matter. I'm meeting people. First off, I'm always trying... Yeah, just want to, I want to know them more. I want to talk. I want to hear words from them. I want to teach them words. I want to engage. I want to have fun. I want to try to get their name right. No, look, nobody ever, so I spend a lot of time in Spanish-speaking countries. Nobody ever says my name right. Like, it's Sam. And it'll be like, Sam, Sam, Sam. And it almost right, you, can, you can't get it right. It's a simple name, Sam. But you don't get it right. If you're not from this kind of North American or at least like uh, U.S. culture or Canadian culture, whatever, and even different parts of it, you're not going to get that. It's a very, very simple name, but you're not going to say it. You won't say it correctly. But there is no correct. I mean, it's not even correctly. You won't say it the way I say it. And that's okay. It's good. It's amazing. Bro. So with me, whenever I go and introduce myself to friends, I say my name is... Whenever I go and introduce myself to friends, I say my name is Bilal. What is and, it? Uh, my, I say my name is Bilal. Bilal. But, um, so my cousin's over there. He can attest to it. But um, I, uh, when I had my cousins meet my friends, my friends were like, hey, Bilal. And then they just look at me and they're like, your name's actually Bilal. What are you talking about? Right. <laughs> like, and so then for like the next few months, they would just be like, Bilal, right. hey, get over here. <laughs> So the issue, though, is you say it like they say it. So how do you, how would, how's your grandmother say it? Uh, so my grandmother would say it, Bilal. 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 And so but a lot of people are, they're hesitant to try to do that kind of dialect thing, right? So I've just gotten used to just going up to people and be like, hey, my name is Bilal. Dude, when I'm traveling in, in Spanish-speaking countries, people ask me what na- my name is. I either say Samuel or I say Sam. I never say Sam. Because they won't get they won't get some, but they understand some. So I just go some. Lori has been Lauren, Lauren forever, and so it's just like okay, okay. Is that cool? You got it, right? Are we good? All right, man. So I'm gonna. All right, here. Let's do this. Go to the next slide. Let me show you a couple things here, real fast, about China. All right. I'm going to save the last one. Look. Look at here. 2018. Look at this is GDP, gross domestic product. Here's the US. Here's China. Dudes. Look. 
Look. Look at that. Like, come on, y'all, right? It's like, this isn't to be afraid. It's isn't, the, 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 the nations rise and fall throughout history. I, I don't, if you're a student of history, then in any way, shape, or form, you understand that nations rise and fall. So China may well not reach its full capacity, but it's looking increasingly like it was. For a long time, I was thinking, well, China's not going to because it's just so polluted. 90% of the waterways in China are polluted. It's like, oh my God, there, there, there are too many people, bought too many cars, and none of roads. And then I just watched the Chinese government just make stuff happen just because they make it happen. Where we might take, and Chinese students, I hear this from Chinese in the U.S. all the time. It's like, why does it take you six months to build a building? The East Hall's renovation would have happened in about three weeks if this was the university in Beijing. All those buildings in each hall, you tear a bunch of them down, you put new ones up, you renovate. Three weeks, y'all. That would all be done. Not here in the U.S. Things just happen fast, fast, fast. And so when you look at this, this thing that I put up last week or a couple weeks ago, just about how much growth is happening in China. It's like, oh my God. Y'all, it's just, it is a radical, radical transformation. And so just because we're not over there looking at it, we're here, we're not seeing it. But if you go there and see it, yo, hang on. Wait, hang on, hang on. I'm like, dudes, wait, hang on, wait, hang on. What you want to do, and those of you, you don't have to travel to do this. But, for example, I mentioned this a few weeks ago. I will never forget the first time I got off an airplane in Qatar. And as I left the U.S. and have all these people telling me, be careful, you're going to the Middle East, be careful, be careful. Like thinking that somehow people were still riding around on camels over in Qatar. And there are camel races, mind you, but... And I'll never forget getting off the airplane or getting off an airplane in lots of places. When it's, you know, whether it's New Delhi or Bogota, Colombia or Mexico City or anywhere. And look here, right? So look at China and solar power, y'all. George, or what's his name? Bill Clinton. No, who's our president? Is this guy? Donald Trump. Donald Trump is promising us that he's going to put the coal miners to work. China, dude, China has cut back their coal usage and their natural gas usage exponentially. And they are moving toward solar renewable energy resources. You all right? In, way, in a way that is just taking off. Look at that. In one decade, in one decade, it's like I read that in like the next year, China will have more, will increase its renewable energy use than Germany uses in all of one year. Just energy. And I think, how is that possible? Y'all, it's like the dragon is awakened and it wants to be powered by the sun. Not by gas and coal. And so we have this world in which people are looking this way and the world is going this way. Here, look at this. Here's this internet, and I, put, I said something about this the other day, but look at the internet connection, average internet connection speed. The U.S. isn't even on here. It's like we're not on here because, you know, we are holding it back for, because, yo, hang on. Dogs. Dude, am I? Dude. Here, I want to say this for the business majors in the class, Okay. We've set up a system in which power is disseminated among lots and lots of different people. And so these big corporations, they battle each other for who can have the primacy and who can make the most profit. In China, what you got are people at the top, people at the top who are looking 20, 30, 50 years down the road and going like, you know what? And in Korea, looking down the road and saying, 
if we slow down our internet usage, if we don't offer internet to businesses, fast, fast internet, what we're going to do is we're actually going to stunt our growth. It's going to be good for profits in the some corporations in the short term, but in the long term, this is going to really hold back growth of our entire country. And look at this, man. You go to Seoul, and you can walk down the street. In, in just a few years, you will walk down the street in Seoul, Korea, and have free internet usage that allows you to download a full-length movie in a single second. Now tell me what that does for business in progress and all of technology development. The entire country becomes a Silicon Valley. You see, you see what I mean? And here we're holding it down, and there they're moving forward. And so, like, come on, man. One final. Yeah. I think, did I put that up the other day? I put that up, right? All right. Um, yeah, go ahead. Dude, who has a question? I'll take one question, and then we'll... Who has a question, bro? Does someone have a question? Dude, no one has a question, dude. Are you on drugs? All right, here you go. Uh, I'll see you on Thursday. <coughs>